is DJ Mickey Breeze. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Or, or is it my apology? I should call you Breeze. <laughs> you know, wasn't it uh, Lil Bow Wow went Bow? <laughs> you know, are you going to change your name to Prince? Like a, a one name? The only thing I did, the only thing I did when I finally got into it is I took the DJ off my name. Okay. You know, I don't mind it too much and stuff now because that's a lot of what people kind of blew me up as. But Mickey Breeze, Breeze, Breezy. Did, okay. So I, I addressed you appropriately. That's yes. good. You know, now that you're an adult and I know that you're out there in the real world, it's just hard for us old people to be able to say, oh, look at this young man blowing up. So A thousand words for snow. I'm just <laughs> yep. saying my name and I'm there. So how you doing? What's new in your life? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Um, a lot of what's new is primarily just a lot of the good shows I've been doing. Um, I've had two sold out shows in the past couple weeks at Ice House um, for an event that they host called Night Church okay. and a basement bar in downtown Minneapolis. Okay. Um, I've had a pretty good time this year with a couple of shows, uh, playing sound set this year, uh, on the Beatmaker stage and everything <laughs> yeah. like that. Um, and still trying to get some numbers done on my album, uh, that I released earlier this year, Tyfe. Well, I'm, man, I know I was loving that Tyfe, that <laughs> album, man. But I even, you've been blowing up on social media, too, because I think, you know, we don't talk every day. <laughs> I don't want people to get that impression. But, you know, I was looking at Facebook, and you were, like, downtown Minneapolis on Nicollet Mall <laughs> playing, and people were, like, jamming. You had a crowd. People were throwing... I need to borrow that little tray so they can start dumping you know, <laughs> dollar bills in mine. But no, you're like everywhere, man. That's good. I, I try. You know, advertisement for artists is like something that you have to be very diligent at. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the things that kind of I faced or was combating with as far as when I got started with my career was mm -hmm. how I advertised myself to people. Okay. You know, now I have my cards to actually network and hand out and be able to meet people and shake hands in person. But there's also the social media aspect that I got to try and get a better handle on mm -hmm. as far as actually putting out what it is that I do, you know, from my songs to my rapping to my instrumentalism to my production and just overall the shows and stuff that I've been at. You want people to be able to see that and interact with it as much mm -hmm. as possible, even if they aren't able to be there. Right, right. You have that layer. You also have like the persistent messaging. Mm -hmm. So like using a buffer or a Hootsuite or some type of regular distribution uh, mechanism. So oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So in essence, you're really running your own business. Yeah, essentially. Uh, a lot of it was just a bit of figuring out what it is that I want to do, whether mm -hmm. that's being a service uh, to people who need music and entertainment or advertising myself as an artist to clubs or maybe shows that need a headliner and opener and things like that. Um, and the balance was actually a lot easier to maintain than I thought, but as long as you know how to advertise yourself to the right people and um, make sure that you have your image and stuff like that intact for when people do want you, it gets a lot easier. Oh yeah, yeah. So what's coming up next next month or in the next 30 days or so? I know we're supposed to be timeless. No, but you're fine. <laughs> what's coming up in November, late October? Um, at the end of this month, late October, um, I recently did an article for the Minnesota Spokesman Recorder. Okay. Um, came to my home studio and did a bit of an interview and an article on me and some of the stuff that I've been up to. Right. Um, November 15th, I'm supposed to be at the Walker Art Center for the teen takeover night uh, that they hit me up for. Um, and there is actually going to be a diabetes benefit by Maria Issa um, at the Amsterdam in downtown St. Paul. Okay. that I'm doing next month as well. Fantastic. Well, we sure appreciate having you on. Are there any um, technology or any new tools or gadgets that you've been working with before we <laughs> do the outro? Always and forever. Uh, recently, I've gotten into messing with, you know, a bunch of buttons as well, uh -huh. uh, upgraded a couple DJ systems of mine. But one, a bit of a throwback piece of technology, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but it's a, a talk box. It's like just oh, the a, Roger Troutman. Yeah, zap. there you go. Man, the you talking to machine. man more bounce of the ounce. Dude. There you go. Yeah. Heard it through the grape. Yeah, all that stuff, man. That's my prime time. That's roller skating. Days. Oh yep, yeah, there yeah. you go, man. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm I'm familiar with that. So I actually did see you online doing one of those <laughs> one time. I was like, look at you, but yeah, yep. no, that's wonderful. Well, 
Uh, next time we look forward to seeing you. We have a big event coming up in February, so we're hoping that uh, we'll have a great time and yes, turn it out. And uh, thank you for joining this episode of Altitude. Thanks for having me. All right, sir. Take care. Just 